Welcome to another Sonic Lab. Welcome to 2017, because uh, it's been Christmas. We've been quiet for a little while. Hope you've had a good festive season. And I'm starting off this year with something a little bit different. What we're actually going to do is show you something that we're giving away. That's right, we've teamed up with the guys from Metafunction. Uh, they came to us with a plugin idea, which is made in Max for Live at Ableton. Uh, and we kind of had a couple of ideas that we'd like to throw in there. And so we decided, why don't we release this together? So. It's called Mono Junction. You can see there's Metafunction's uh, logo and there's Sonic State logo. So let's take a look. I've got an instantiation of it here. We may as well start with a uh, good old square wave. And then if you look at the screen, I'm just going to bring in some pulse width modulation there. Because obviously, pulse width modulation is something that I'm known for. But this has a little bit of a twist to it. This is but actually, before we get there, let's just take a quick look. Well, modulation sources, we've got three envelopes. If we look on the screen, three envelopes, ADSR envelopes, three LFOs. These are syncable LFOs uh, with multiple waves in polar, uh, bipolar and unipolar, which is always handy. Um, but if I come back here, we'll just look at the uh, waveforms. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm controlling it with Ableton's push, because this is just out of the box. It just works straight away and it makes, makes sense. So start with a sawtooth. Obviously, we've got the pulse width. We've got a negative saw wave. Now, the negative saw wave is quite interesting. If you look at the screen here, it allows us to tilt and shift the phase and uh, the frequency ratio. So we can get a kind of another pulse width out of it. If you look at the screen, you can see there's a sort of saw stroke. It's quite an interesting way, but we can also tune this up. get like a fake dual oscillator out of it. Anyway, that's another nice little feature. A negative saw wave is doing some clever stuff inside that. I don't pretend to know exactly what's going on in terms of DSP under the hood, but uh, suffice to say, it does sound like a sort of another flavour of it. So if we take a look at the screen again, we should have a look at the filter, because the thing about the filter is it's a multi-mode filter. I'll start off here. Let's try a sawtooth wave. So sawtooth. Got a low pass 24 dB filter model. Start to bring that in. The resonance in. Get those nice harmonics in. Take it down, and we've got uh, high pass 24 as well. Again with the Q. We can get some of those nice low harmonics if we want. Uh, there are a couple. There's a band pass 24 as well, but there's this one called diode, which I actually really like the sound of. So. We start to bring the resonance up. Oh, bit too much there. We get those really nice sing-song harmonics, which I know I'm famous for saying, but they do that. We've also got a transistor filter, which has a sort of a bit more of a smudge to it. Bring in the resonance. So anyway, basically, I don't want to go too much into depth. I mean, I want to encourage you to enjoy this because we're giving this away for free. All you've got to do is head over to this URL here on Sonic State website, sign up, and you'll get your free copy of the Mono Junction from Metafunction slash SonicState.com. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to play out with a bit more of the track that I bait, and all of the sounds in this track are actually with the Mono Junction, apart from the drums. Everything else is just a bit of a, obviously, long reverb in there and a little bit of delay. So I'll just hit play and see where it takes us. <laughs> 